This is a seven lobe rainbow. It's got 28 canes, 14 in each rainbow. Each color is a transparent overlay. And the colors are tuned very carefully so that their intensity is very, very similar. I will very, very carefully melt these in, and I have to really take my time and do it just right. Now, if I, if I don't take enough time, I'll catch all kinds of unwanted air, and if I take too much time, it will be perfect still. So it's very difficult. You can never tell whether you've wasted time doing it or not. <laughs> and twist it, twist it so it's really twisted and get it just the right size and temperature and I'll ram that twisted assemblage down into this. And that's kind of a risky step because as it hits these broad faces going down in, it can push the certain colors under and over one another and that, that, that just ruins it. To be able to make a thing, to be able to make a, an object, or to be able to make a piece of art that somehow uh, spoke about the human condition or somehow had universal appeal or somehow had longevity beyond my own existence, that this would be the greatest possible honor to have existed. It gives me a reason to go on. It's so motivating. It's so exciting when you're going down some track and finding things that, uh, that uh, you didn't know you could find or you come to a point and you realize eight or ten months ago you couldn't have even imagined these things you're coming up with. That's what art is all about, these weird miracles. You can see when somebody's having a positive aesthetic reaction and it is transformative. It makes some of these elderly maestro conductors live another ten years. <laughs> it's just incredible, the power of it. People don't retire who are artists, they have too many ideas. It's like George Burns, I can't die, I'm booked. <laughs>